Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon slayer. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Alrighty. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Garbage Gamer, and uh, today we are playing Dragon's Lair. This is a uh, Don Bluth arcade game, Laserdisc arcade game, back in the uh, 1980s. This is a absolute favorite game of mine when I was a kid. And uh, I used to have the old PC version, and uh, not the floppy disk version, but the actual CD version, which was pretty nice. And. Uh, it was the best available. And then uh, many years later, I picked up the DVD version released by Digital Leisure. And this is the PC HD remake they did. So, so yeah, let's just not waste any time. You guys just saw the intro there. That was the what is known as the attract mode, which is what would play on a loop in the arcade machine until you put in a quarter and started playing. So, yeah, so let's just uh, get right into the game here and see if I can make it through the Dragon's Lair. Let's see, I'm going to do it on easy, I guess. Uh, home. See, there's home mode and there's arcade mode. Uh, I'm going to do home mode for now. And uh, all the difficulty does is it adds the number of buttons you have to press during uh, each little scene. Like, so instead of you know, up and over, you might have to push down, up, and over. So the difficulties are just how many times you're going to press a button. So let's go ahead and start. So the buttons are pretty simple. It's literally up, down, left, right, and space bar. So let's see how much I remember of this. <laughs> It's almost like muscle memory now. Oh, whoops. Or, oh, I have lives. Apparently that's the home version. You have lives. I do like that they have the, uh, the point counter. There we go. <laughs> Uh, in arcade style, so I don't want to drink that. Oh wow, I already thrown me here, huh? The mm -hmm. sections of the dungeon are uh, always randomized, so... That makes it nice because you can't just say, okay, here's the button combo for the entire game. So as you can see, the entire game is uh, animated beautifully by... Don Bluth, same person who did movies like The Secret of Nim, which is another absolutely fantastic uh, animated movie. This HD remake is just beautiful. Hmm. I'll probably come back and play this game on the different different difficulties. Whoops. Pushed a little too soon. <laughs> no, it saves my score at least. Got it. I remember in the PC version, you'd have to hit up also to get him to jump across. Oh, 
dee bop a doop dop. <laughs> oh, the PC version was difficult on this. There we go. You. This game probably wouldn't appeal very much to a modern audience because of... I mean, I don't want to say that, because it will. There's a lot of stigma lately of quick time events. Not a lot of people like them. I had not played that one in a while. <laughs> there. Whew. Up, up. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah. It's been a long time since I've done this. Oh, see, I'm used to hitting up on that. And I hit yeah. Used to hitting up. <laughs> Attack. Over. Over again. There we go. Save me! The Black Knight. God. So this one is just muscle memory. Even in the mirror modes, I remember exactly the pattern. Even though it's showing me in the corners, I'm not even looking at it. Again, what made the P old PC version hard was there was no mode to show you what buttons to press. Wait, what did I do wrong? Okay then. Ah, oh, to reset my score. Bastards. Even if you have the markers, this game is irritatingly difficult at times. Yeah. Shit. I, the, I freaked out and hit the attack button. Hit up again. <laughs> okay. Stop freaking out. There we go. God! I'm so used to hitting up! <laughs> it's attack, not up. Only one attack in that. Uh oh. Uh oh. I like the subtle voices they give Dirk. This is the most amazing thing in the world. A full, controlled, full animated cartoon on your computer was just amazing for the early 90s. And this one is very, when it comes to the time you need to press the buttons, 
this game, especially this version, is actually very forgiving. They give you a lot of time to press these buttons. You will notice that it may seem like I'm playing levels again, which in a way I am, but I'm also playing them in, in mirror. That's how they lengthen the game, they have the same areas. No, I hit over, I just hit it too soon. But uh, the loop areas. But, uh, to, yeah, to lengthen the game. Just want to keep on going. Pull that because that'll release the water. This whole room just gets totally destroyed. It's just trap after trap. Save me! See, here's the mirrored Black Knight. It may look like the same, but it's just everything on the opposite side. And the buttons are reversed. But it's no match for the dirt of the dead. Why I gave him a accent, I'm not entirely sure. Making pretty good progress on this. I don't really think it matters. They give you a bunch of times to jump onto a platform. I don't really think it matters. Once you get into the groove of it, and actually the game flows pretty quickly. This is oh, I always thought this was the coolest scene in the game. So it was